Hey everyone, welcome back to PC Benchmarks and Gaming. Today we're diving into the world of gaming performance with something truly revolutionary, the FSR 3 Frame Generation Mod. If you're tired of laggy gameplay and want to squeeze every bit of performance out of your system, you're in for a treat. But before we jump into the testing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with the latest tech and gaming content. For those who aren't familiar, FSR 3 Frame Generation Mod is a game changer. It's designed to enhance your gaming experience by generating additional frames, effectively boosting your frames per second, FPS. The results? Well, they're nothing short of insane, with some cases showing a doubling of FPS in PC games. Before we jump into the benchmarks, let me quickly run through the hardware we're working with. I've got an Intel Core i5-9400F, GTX 1660 Ti, and 16GB RAM running in my gaming rig. This setup should give us a good baseline to see how much performance improvement we can achieve. To download the mod, go to Reddit, copy the codes provided, and paste it into encrypt.toolpy.com, press the decrypt text button, and that's it. Access the link and download the file. The current version is 0.7.5. To check which version of FSR your game uses, visit PC Gaming Wiki. This will be necessary when you install the mod. These are the files for installing the mod. Let's start with the game The Witcher 3. As we already checked, the version of FSR it uses is 2.1, so let's extract and copy the files that will work in this version. Paste the files into the folder where the game's executable is located, check that everything is okay and that's it. The mod is installed. Let's start the benchmarks with the game The Witcher 3, in the first part without the mod, and then with the mod installed.
In conclusion, the FSR 3 frame generation mod is a game changer for anyone looking to maximize their gaming performance. The gains we've seen today are nothing short of incredible, and the best part is, it's relatively easy to implement. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech and gaming goodness, and leave a comment down below. Have you tried the FSR 3 frame generation mod? What were your results? Let's start a conversation. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.